Speaker is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the gentleman for yielding. I thank him for his great leadership in uh, opposing this uh, reckless legislation that is on the floor today. I thank Mr. Grijalva for his leadership as well, and our, our chair of the um, ranking member on the Transportation Committee, Mr. Larson, for their setting the record straight in the different categories of this legislation. You just set the record straight again, Mr. Pallone. Thank you so much for put, giving us a history lesson to some in this room who may not remember the course of events that has taken us to this place. Today, Mr. Speaker, I rise to join in sounding the alarm, uh, a fire alarm, a five alarm, five alarm climate emergency, which is an ex existential threat, the existential threat of our time. Our colleagues, many of our colleagues, including our distinguished ranking members, have gone into detail about opposition to this bill. I want to focus on the climate aspect of it. It was pride, and on my term as Speaker, House Democrats made climate our flagship issue. When we enacted the Inflation Reduction Law, our nation took a landmark step to rescue our planet. Yet our progress stands in sharp contrast to the reckless Republican bill before us, which on every score puts polluters first. We know that climate is a health issue. You referenced that in your comments, Mr. Chairman. When Democrats are slashing pollution to preserve clean air and water, this bill guts bedrock health protections to fast-track fast -track polluter projects. Climate is an economic issue. While Democrats are creating jobs and lowering energy costs, this bill gives $2.4 billion in handouts to the biggest polluters. Climate is a national security issue. While Democrats are declaring America's energy independence, this bill seeks to keep us at the mercy of oil-rich dictators. Finally, climate is a moral issue. While Democrats are honoring obligation to pass on a healthy planet this, to our children and grandchildren, this bill is nothing short of a dereliction of duty. It's God's creation. We're religious people here in this body, right? It's God's creation. Don't we have a responsibility to be good stewards of God's creation? The climate emergency is putting lives at risk right now with extreme weather pillaging co communities that you represent and hitting families at the kitchen table. With this legislation, Republicans have chosen to ignore the needs of America's working families. Instead, Republicans are putting polluters over people. For the planet and for the children, I urge a no vote and yield back the balance of my time.